Hi, welcome to LinkedIn Learning 101. So the reason I made this video is to show you guys how to use LinkedIn Learning and how it can be an advantage for you to, to start using it and watching all the content that's available. Right, so this is the page we will get you again to the normal LinkedIn Learning. However, we're not going to do the same step. This is where you would add to get an invite sent to an email. And if not, you have to ask for that invite to be resent to your email to activate it. So what we'll do now is we'll go to a account that was activated um, and that account would then have your student number or your staff number. In this case, we're going to use um, the student and pass is ready there. So we're going to sign in with the student account and then um, just see the activation link that LinkedIn would send you. All right, if, you, if they send you the link, it's valid for um, 30 days so you need to activate within that 30 days so we're just going to say no for choosing the signing times and this will take us now back to our email inbox student email inbox right so the next step as it's loading um, you would then see your mail where it would see um, your organization has, act has allowed you uh, this one here right so um, let's try to open this email so it will say unlock access to your LinkedIn account, LinkedIn learning account, and then you have to click on the link when it appears. Um, I'm just waiting. Right. So it will say hi, Cape Prince University has given you free access to LinkedIn learning. Right. So this is the email that everybody should get. Right. You have an option to show block content. Um, sometimes they block if it's the same emails, and you will see that your invite expires. In this case, the 18th of August, right? So what you do is you then click on get started. Then you will get a link that will pop up and it will say congrats you now have access to LinkedIn Learning. Now here's the steps we need to either if you have a LinkedIn account you connect it straight to your LinkedIn account and if you don't have you then have to set up one, right? So you have an option to connect your LinkedIn account or you continue without LinkedIn. So you have an option to do that right so if you say continue without LinkedIn it's going to say you won't be able to engage with peers and instructors in LinkedIn learning and then you would be able to just use LinkedIn learning and you won't be able to see it so in this case right, so let's start the process again where we actually continue without a LinkedIn learning account so what you will do then is it will ask you to log into enterprise login that will be the URL and here you have to put in your email address so in this case we put in our student email address and we put in our new password right um, and we should change that password and then it will ask you to send the verification code right because now you're creating your LinkedIn learning account so when you say send verification code it will then send that to your email address right and then you will have to put in that verification code so we'll go back to our email and we'll refresh and there we get our code, right? So in this case, we refresh now just to get the code, right? So in this case, we got our code, which is 10923. So we'll copy that code. We can then go back to LinkedIn Learning. We put in the code and we say verify code. When that's done, it's gonna save your password and then it will then ask you to create a LinkedIn account. So you can leave your email address, leave it as is, and then you say create. Now it will process information, and that would be the last step. And then, then it will link you to LinkedIn Learning. Right, so then you have to log in. If not, it will already log you in to your account ID, and then you have access to LinkedIn Learning. So you just need to do that two steps, and then it would say welcome to LinkedIn Learning. Um, then you will be able to put in information um, and that's it they will ask you simple questions where you would have to choose from anything like what do you want to do so if you look at business topics they need to select there if you get text you can say DevOps you can, you can say cloud computing or technical support web development any of these and then creative you can say any of these and then you just say continue and then you're done Right, and you can set your weekly goal. So let's say you want to watch videos weekly every 30 minutes. You can do that. So it will send you a reminder to your email address um, to 
allow you to have a weekly goal, right? You can also do it later, or you can keep it casual. So you can set your goal for 30 minutes. We'll get the reminder every week that you need to watch at least 30 minutes. And when you're logged in, um, it will tell you you have a weekly goal, and you can start learning. Right, so this is setting up LinkedIn Learning without the LinkedIn profile. As you can see here, there is the student connected. No need to have a LinkedIn profile. And if I go to my learning, it will show the student's progress as well. Right, um, so that is how you set up your LinkedIn Learning um, without having to have a LinkedIn Learning account. Right, so you don't need to have a LinkedIn Learning account. LinkedIn account, LinkedIn Learning account, right? Um, if you go to settings, however, I think at a later stage you would be able to add um, a LinkedIn learning account to connect to LinkedIn account because you can do that. That's what you can do later. Um, but for now, I think it's just more about learning the content and going to LinkedIn learning. That's the procedure to get it up and running. Okay? Thank you.